بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهداه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أحباب Today for our 10th verb we come to the root letters of ra a alhamzatu wal ya and Ibn Faris rahmatullahi he says ra'u wal hamzatu wal ya aslun yadullu ala nadhar wa ibsar bi'ayn aw basirat he says that the ra the hamza and the ya they mean vision they are talking about vision that is due to either the eye the physical eye itself or insight and so ra'a being the past tense verb, we see that in the Qur'an as a whole they are mentioned. Uh, these three root letters are mentioned 328 times in eight different forms. And the main form is 271 times in the past tense verb of ra'a. Ra'a, meaning he saw. Ra'a. And when we understand that this is the case, we'll see that ra'a even in its past tense form as that, it can have the meaning of visual sighting with the eye or what's referred to in the Arabic as الرأيو القلبية يعني that it's insight in not the physical eye but it's what's basically understood as the ability to see through the heart or through the mind. So not the physical sight but a deeper sight, an insight that is at the level of the heart or at the level of the mind. And how do you tell the difference? Well, context, but there's also another thing. Um, the physical sighting with the eye, it has only one direct object. And the way that you'll see the direct object is that it's mansub, it'll take the fatha, if there's the, uh, the vowel at the end of it, or if it's of the forms that are mansubun bil ya, that it becomes uh, uh, the accusative, if I'm not mistaken, with the ya in it, you'll see it there. However, if it's al-ra'a uh, al-qalbiya, it takes on two, two uh, direct objects, and that's something that inshallah ta'ala you would see as you're reading and you're coming across. But as a whole, the past tense of ra'a, 271 times, and so subhanallah, this is certainly um, a verb that is also mentioned quite often, and we see this action here as a more specific one. And so we pray that Allah with this 10th verb that He give us just not just the sense of our eyes to be able to truly see but that He help us to also see with our hearts and with our minds blessing us with insight. Allahumma ameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.